Welcome to this hands-on exercise, where we will extract MFCC features from audio files using Docker, Amazon ECR, AWS Lambda, and Amazon Transcribe. MFCC, MEL Frequency Sepstral Coefficients, are numerical features that capture the shape and texture of an audio signal, based on how humans perceive sound. They are widely used in speech recognition, speaker identification, emotion detection, and other audio processing applications. The folder for this exercise includes all the necessary code files, along with a sample.wave audio file that we'll use to generate these MFCC features. Step 1, Build the Docker image. We begin by building the Docker image that will run our Lambda function. First, let's look at the Docker file. We start from a Python 3.9 AWS Lambda base image. Next, we set environment variables to disable number caching to avoid known cache-related errors. We install essential system dependencies such as GCC, FFmpeg, and Libsyn file, followed by Python libraries like Librosa for audio processing, Boto3 for AWS interactions, and supporting packages such as NumPy and Pandas. We then copy the Lambda handler file, lambda underscore mfcc.py, into the container and define the Lambda handler's entry point. Before building the image, authenticate Docker to Amazon ECR. and ensure that the ECR repository named MFCC Lambda exists. Now let's build the Docker image specifically for AWS Lambda compatibility, tag it, and push it to Amazon ECR. Next, let's walk through the Lambda function responsible for extracting MFCC features. This Lambda function is triggered whenever a .wave audio file is uploaded to our designated S3 bucket. When triggered, the function downloads the audio file into slash TMP, loads it using Librosa, and extracts 13 MFCC features. These features are organized into a pandas data frame, converted into a CSV file, and uploaded back to S3 under the features slash folder. Inside the Lambda handler, we first check that the S3 object key matches the naming pattern. Next, we perform MFCC extraction using Librosa's methods. Finally, we write the CSV output back to S3. Step 3, create AWS Lambda from Docker image. We now create the Lambda function named extract MFCC Lambda. Specify that your function code will come from a Docker container stored in Amazon ECR. Assign an IAM role, with necessary permissions to access S3. Set Lambda timeout, and memory, it's, as appropriate. Upload audio and start Amazon transcribe job, Upload your audio file to your S3 bucket. Start an Amazon transcribe. Specify media file format, wave, language, ENUS, and an output bucket location for transcription results. Test Lambda Invocation. Manually invoke your Lambda function to test feature extraction. Pass a test payload resembling the S3 upload event.
Let's run these programs to see how everything works in practice. First let's check if there are any local Docker images. Before building the Docker image for the Lambda function and pushing it to the ECR registry, let's first take a look at ECR. As you can see, the ECR repository is currently empty, no Docker repositories have been created yet. Now, run this Docker build script, this will create the Docker image and push it to ECR. Let's see if the Docker image has been created. As you can see, running the script has successfully created the Docker image containing the Lambda function. Let's check on the ECR console. As you can see, the ECR repository has now been created. This is the Docker image, let's copy its URI. Replace the Docker image URI with the one you just copied. Running this script will use the Docker image to create the Lambda function. Let's run this. Let's check if the Lambda has been created. As you can notice, the Lambda function is shown here. The creation is currently in progress. This is the, the Docker image URI used by this Lambda. Let's take a look at the IAM role assigned to this Lambda function. These are the S3 related permissions. As you can notice, the Lambda function has been successfully created now.
Now we'll run this program to upload the audio file to S3 and initiate AWS Transcribe to generate its transcription. This is the audio file. This part of the code block will run AWS Transcribe job on the uploaded audio file on S3. As you can see, there are no transcribed jobs listed here yet. Let's take a look at the S3 bucket used for this exercise. This S3 bucket is currently empty. Let's run this. Refresh this bucket. As you can notice, the audio file is uploaded. The transcribe job has now been created, and it has generated a transcription file based on the audio file. You can see that the transcribe job has generated a transcription file in .json format. Let's run this program to invoke the Lambda function we created earlier. We're invoking the Lambda function manually for now. This is the payload passed to the function. As you can notice that the audio file is uploaded. Let's run the AWS Lambda function manually. The Lambda function executed successfully, let's check its output on the S3 bucket. As you can notice the output file has been created here. Let's open it. This is the output. The table shown represents MFCC, MEL frequency sepstral coefficient, features extracted from short audio frames. The header row lists MFCC underscore 1 to MFCC underscore 13, each representing a different coefficient that captures unique aspects of the audio's frequency content. Each subsequent row corresponds to a short time frame in the audio, with values indicating the MFCCs for that segment. The initial rows filled with zeros likely represent silence or padding at the start of the clip, which is normal. The numerical values in the table summarize the spectral characteristics of the audio and are commonly used in speech recognition, speaker identification, emotion detection, and other audio analysis tasks. Now we'll configure the S3 bucket to automatically trigger the Lambda function whenever an audio file is uploaded, by adding an event notification to the bucket. Let's set up an event handler. Select the Lambda function. Save the changes, this will set up the event handler for this bucket. Now let's remove the current content from this bucket. Remove the transcribe job as well, since although it was included in the workflow, its output isn't actually used by the Lambda function. Run this to upload the audio file to the S3 bucket. Ran successfully, let's check its output. As you can notice that the MFCC file has been generated by the Lambda.
Let's check the CloudWatch logs. This concludes the exercise. Remember to delete the resources you launched to avoid unnecessary charges.